Hey guys, McJeffries here, and welcome back to the McJeffries Network on OpenTTD. Now, if I've done my maths right, today is Friday, and we are still in the middle, well, not in the middle, coming to the end of uh, Ring Barn Week, which is very, not a very good name for it at all. But anyway, this is our ring line. Um, I've been watching the trains go around. We have a really nice little thing over here at um, Slardhatton. Basically, just as one train leaves, so this one will leave, to go off on its route. Another one will actually come in here as the one from the depot comes back ready to start the journey again. In fact, no, nope, that's not it. I think the one I was following is that train actually. There it is. So that will come back in just as this one moves into the platform ready to depart. So it's pretty cool actually how this is all timed. Because of that, I don't think it's wise to actually try and uh, have more lines start at Slardhatton. However, we can have loads of lines go through Slardhatton. One of the first things I want to do is cut this platform back slightly and put another couple of waypoints in. Build separate and then do that. This will be um, Slardhatton P6 and 7. Yeah. P6 and 7. Like so. Right, so as promised, today we're going to be looking at adding more routes to this loop system and I kind of want to start over here at Ninningston Woods it's a very underused station at the moment as you can see no trains actually stop here right now because no trains are set up to stop here right now but we're going to change that the first thing I want to do though is have trains run down this line here through Drenningworth and off this way so I think for that to work Where's the depot, first of all? Do we have a depot somewhere around here? I don't think we do. Which isn't very good. In that case, I'm going to come down this way. Follow this line all the way down to Denwell. I'll build a depot site sort of about here. So let's do that. If you can hear a grinding, groaning noise in the background, by the way, that's my very angry laptop. Um some of the cooling vents are blocked and I've sprayed it so many times with canned air and it's still making that noise and it still overheats from time to time so I'm sort of chasing a lost cause a little bit with that one um, I'm sure it, it's fixable it's just very inconvenient right now I might have to take it apart and have a, a tweak inside but that's the uh, the reason there and there's also barking dogs which I can't really help or do I mind them to be honest because they're normally quite well behaved dogs they're not even my dogs they're the next door neighbours dogs but they're they're alright they're alright so apologies if you can hear outside noise, this is, this is the point I'm trying to make. Uh, they are out of my control, unfortunately. Anyway, we're going to be building Propberg Woods, which I'm going to rename in a second. Now we're going to do this very, 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 very badly, I'm sure. Because we're going to take out these two signals, whoops, you and you. We're going to pop this down like this. You are going to go in there, and then you are going to come up, actually hang on take that back slightly take that one back right oh hang on no let's do some math one two three there was a good spot as you know the, the original point was a good spot ah <sighs> like that and then you go there like that we'll just say that's fine for now and we're going to pop you in, you in, you in, you in, you in, you in. And then we're going to change you to that. Wherever this one is. It's not very helpful that I've got these roads in the way. There it is. You to that. That one should be fine. That one should be fine. That one's definitely fine. There we go. Okay. So I want two routes to come out of Denwell, which is why I've built this the way I have. I want one of them to go straight through to GSG, which we've already got. Straight line, into GSG and back again. The other one I do want to utilise the new loop system. And I kind of want to build the connection here again. I know I said in the last episode, I think it was, that I wouldn't build the connection again. But I've had a think about it off camera, and I think I've changed my mind. I think I have. We'll see how it looks first of all. But basically we've got this uh, this large stretch of track here that's perfect for adding connections to. It's just actually getting it right. 
first thing I want to do is put grade separated junctions in so this one will go like this for example and then if I put that there instead this one will come out like this come along like this um, let's get rid of some water in fact let's shift that over one get rid of some more water there's no guarantee that these lines are actually going to meet actually when you when you think about it actually I say actually a lot let's just uh, not say the word actually anymore shall we right so in theory these lines are never going to meet the practicality behind that could be a little bit tricky because I don't want to use this line at all this is a completely separate line that goes in a completely separate direction and in fact there's no guarantee that I'll even be using this bridge as part of the construction work I don't think this is a good spot for the junction at all come to think of it and in fact I could just do it where I originally had it and have it join up over here I might just do that so if I do this and change that like that will I have room to build a bridge in I will won't I yeah okay let's do this you there um, and you there this is our grade separated junction because of this we'll have to remove two signals but that's fine you and you um, in fact this signal I could perhaps move yeah this one I can move to there change that get rid of that put another signal there and then this and this okay so this now is going to be used for um, this side like so that works do this have this go under like this um, clear out a two tile gap clear out all that as well like this and like this have this come up to there that come up to there and underneath like that connected perfect this is going to use the loop. Now, we've got one side set up. Still need to set up where it's going to come off the loop at the other side. Uh, let's get rid of you. We'll pop that there instead. Okay. So that's one side set up. The next side, let's see, it's going to come along this way. It's going to come through Corston. Or we could just have it terminate at the airport, thinking about it. So it's quite a long line. I think we might just have it terminate at the airport. We'll try it. We will try it. So the first thing we want to do, and I love this, it's so easy to do trains now. It's so easy. Passengers, cargo capacity, you. Select, pin and pin. Okay. So the first stop, Denwell City. We're going to do the GSG line first. So Bunbra Woods, Bunbra itself, Overthing Field, which is a very, try saying that when you're drunk kind of name. Uh, Hay Hill is also one of those, actually. I don't like Hay Hill as a, as a town name, but I'm not going to change it because it's, you know, there's, there's real life town names that I don't like. Right, these stations are fairly spread out as well, actually, which is pretty handy. More so than on the loop. Um, Frenthingborough, Drenningworth, and then through. Do I stop at Tinning? Yeah, I'll just stop at Tinning Hall. Why not? And then. Um, I'm just looking. Do I do P's 1 and 2, or do I do further over? I might. Yeah, mm, Oh, I don't know. See, one of the ideas I had off camera as well was to move the tram station up to the top and have extra metro platforms here. I think for now I'm just going to do P1 and 2. It's easier. And then Tinning Hall, Drenningworth, Frenfingborough. Don't like that one either. 
There's a lot of these. Guardtown, I think, is one of the only ones that I do like. Fent Hill's okay as well. Ninningston is okay. Ninningston sounds like an actual town. I might have to look that up. It could well be a real-life town. Originally, I was going to rename these to sort of British towns and cities, but then you sort of... You lose a little bit of the uh, the immersion if you do that. So I don't want to risk that, just for the sake of having some nice sounding town names. Right, anyway, we are done here. We're going to service you. You are far end, no loading. I'm going to open this up. You are far end, and guard town is far end. Right, this is the easy one. It gets tricky after this. So Denwell City, change time, 2.50 for all, apart from Prutberg Woods, which is going to be a thousand, and the depot, which is going to be a hundred, like so. Something else which I find really cool is you can change all the speed limits just like so, which is fantastic. Set you to autofill. We're going to clone you sometimes. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Set you on your way. And that's going to sort itself out quite nicely. Uh, I've done it again, though. I've got to put them in their group. Damn, that's annoying when I do that. Right, so you are going to be, let's say, M15. Uh, DC to GSG. You are six long, aren't you? Uh, M15, you are there. Pop you there. Grab the ungrouped trains and drag them down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. That sounded like thunder outside then. It's either thunder or someone using a wheelie bin. Believe it or not, they sound very similar. Before anyone thinks I'm mad. DC to PIT3. You are also six long. I'm doing this one first. I'm learning from my mistakes. Now I'm trying to do these in consecutives when they come from the same origin. So here's 24 and 25, here's 15, 16. By the time this series is finished, we will have filled up the entirety of 1, 2, whatever. I am sure of that. We're going to have so many metro lines, it'll be unbelievable. I do still need a name for the loop though. I'm, I'm struggling to think of a name. Let's put it that way. Right, let's do you. No, that's definitely thunder outside cool. I like thunder. There's probably people out there thinking I'm crazy, but I love thunderstorms. I don't know what it is. It's probably the sense of power of, that comes from them. But I just find them really uh, good. As long as you're indoors. You sit by an open window or something like that. Don't go, don't go standing under trees or things like that. That's really not smart. Or metal shelters. Sitting in a car, that's absolutely fine. It works as a Faraday cage little known fact. Aeroplanes, again the same, trains, any sort of metal object that's insulated before you go sit in tin sheds, don't do that. Especially if you touch the wall, you will die. <clears throat> but yeah, thunderstorms are cool just to sit and watch. Now I've done my little consumer advice for the day. Heading hall. Someone, by the way, I said the other day that I didn't like being political in my videos and someone asked me to, to carry on being political because it's interesting. So, if you want me to be political, I mean, maybe not, political is probably the wrong word. Um, opinionated is probably the correct phrase. If you want me to be more opinionated in my videos, let me know. Because I'm, I'm more than happy to talk about things like Crossrail and, and High Speed 2 and um, High Speed 3, if it ever happens. A lot of people are sort of in debate as to what High Speed 3 actually is. I was of the opinion that High Speed 2 was the two-phase thing. That the first phase goes to Birmingham and then the second phase goes up through the Y junction up to the Scotland, Glasgow and Edinburgh. That was my opinion of what high speed 2 is. I know some people think that the second phase is technically high speed 3. As far as I was aware, high speed 3 was um, east to west across the Pennines. The northern hub, I think it's been called. That's what I thought HS3 was, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. It's, it's open to debate. 
course, there's, there's absolutely no guarantee that it'll, it'll even happen. So giving it a name right now is probably a bit redundant. Um, Crossrail. Crossrail 2 looks like it's happening, which is exciting, because it actually goes near where I live. So I'm very happy about that. It means I can get into London a hell of a lot faster. Just when I first saw the plans and I saw Hertfordshire, I thought, oh, that's interesting. And it is interesting. Although the terminus they've chosen, Alexandra Palace, is a really stupid place to terminate it. Cause it's one of the quietest stations I've ever been to. I don't think uh, making it the terminus of Crossrail 2 is going to make it any busier either. Because even if they use it as a transfer station, hardly any trains stop there to begin with. So it's pointless. Absolutely pointless. Right, we have returned. I'm going to carry on doing this while I'm talking. Um, so Crossrail 2, I think Crossrail 2 should go from somewhere like Stevenage down through London and then out the other side. I can't remember. It's, I know it used to be called the Chelsea Hackney line, but I can't remember where the current... I think it was on the lines out of Waterloo they're thinking of making it um, join up with. I think that's not a bad idea. Again, I could be wrong. I probably am wrong. But if that's right, then that's, uh, that's a good thinking there from certain individuals. It'd be interesting to see what they end up doing. Whoops, I forgot to press control. There we go. Um, and I'll pop this one in now as well before I forget. There we go. So yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting to see what they've got planned. It's very interesting. Just London as a whole is changing so much now. You can't really... There's a lot of controversy as well about it. For instance, Crossrail, the buildings that they knocked down in Tottenham Court Road to build the new Crossrail station. There was a lot of controversy about the, the heritage of the theatres that they were getting rid of. And that's the unfortunate side of it. If it was possible to build a huge underground station without disturbing anything above it, I bet you any money that is what they would have decided to do. Unfortunately, it's not possible because you've got to build all these ventilation shafts and entrance ways and you got to get the equipment down there. People don't realise that, you know, these tunnel boring machines are over 100 metres long. They have to be lowered into the tunnel system somehow. And OK, they weren't done at Tottenham Court Road. They were wheeled through there. But other equipment, equipment for building platforms, putting in support structures, you know, it, it all has to get down there somewhere. And if it was even just a case of we'll move the theatre for a year or two and then we'll bring it back, then fine. But buildings at least in Britain, you can't necessarily move an entire theatre. I know when they built High Speed 1, there was a house that got moved. Or there was a line of houses that got moved. And in that case, they, they sort of jacked it up and moved it across. But these theatres have basements and um, all kinds of foundation levels that go a long way underground, because they're big buildings. So it, it is a great shame. Just making sure that's all done. Right. Autofill and have I missed anything? don't think I have cool, off you go so yeah, Crossrail has been damaging but it's also going to be beneficial there's a lot of roads being turfed up, Paddington's changed um, all kinds of areas have changed, I know High Speed 2 as well, Euston is going to become a massive building site if High Speed 2 does get the go ahead because they're going to be building all new platforms there the original station is going to be jigged around a lot train services are going to be redirected to other stations. If Crossrail 2 gets the go ahead that'll be more building work at, at King's Cross and Euston and St Pancras technically and all three of them have had extensive rebuilding work done recently so the destruction will never stop there and the, the uh, disruption won't ever stop there which is a pain. One day I would like it to be possible that they would just finish building and say we've upgraded everything we've built everything new we're done nothing more but I don't think that day is ever going to come, unfortunately, because as soon as they finish one upgrade program, another one starts. You know, Blackfriars has been rebuilt as part of the Thameslink program, which is fantastic, and it looks to be finished. But I know that for a fact that they'll start doing something else again there soon. Um, London Bridge is under a huge rebuilding program, which is going to take years to complete, part of which is to do with the Thameslink program, but I think it's also just general upgrading that they wanted to do. Um, any other stations? There's, there's loads. There are loads and loads and loads. And it's very, very inconvenient for usual commuters. Never mind people who just happen to be there on the day that the building work is going on. Right, this is sort of going well. 
obviously all these trains are piled up at the moment they won't be once this is done it's what I find cool about this system is you start them all off and you think oh my god they're gonna be like queued up forever and then you actually spot that after a while this one here for example once they've done a loop it will wait at I suppose the bad thing is it's gonna wait at DC for this one to go the certain number of ticks away and then it will start up so we'll end up with a little bit of a congestive queue but overall it shouldn't be too bad how long has this episode been? 20 minutes. Okay, let's have a look at another line, shall we? I have some trains in depots somewhere. Let's see where those are. I've got loads of um, metro lines still up and running. You guys. I believe you lot are all in your depot. Yes, you are. That makes life a little bit easier if I just get rid of them. Where's the last one? Over here. Any in here? Just you. Okay. So that's one that I can now get rid of. Like so. You are still running, I believe. Yes, you're going to carry on still running. But I'm going to rename you as M10. And pop you underneath Gartown Metro. Right, you. Are you still running? Yeah, you must be. Okay. You are going to be M11. I assume these both go from... Yeah. I mean, technically this is M10.5, let's say. Because it's just an express version of the one that we've got here. But I think for, for clarity's sake, I'll rename it. Right, you are all supposed to be in your depot. Naughty trains. Off you go. pin that there for a second. Delete you. And you are the one that we've already got. You're the mail train. Cool. Are you Planwell? No, you're Propberg. We'll get rid of you then. Which one's Planwell? It can't be... Where are we? can't be this one. No, I was petting him. Oh, Planwell. Duh. Plumwell's down here. This is Plumwell. Pin you as well then. Get rid of that window. Okay, so the Guard Town Metro is expanding, as you can see. We have loads of trains on it now. Overall, I wish it would actually tell you there how many you have. But we've got, what, 12, 15, plus 2 lots of 9, so that's 18 on, th on 15, which is 33. 63 trains. It's a lot of trains. A lot of trains. I think the London Underground, actually, thinking about it, the London Underground has like a hundred trains on a single line. So uh, I don't think we're anywhere near that level just yet. We're getting there, slowly but surely, we're getting there. Now, obviously, um, one of the other things I want to do somewhere on this loop is the electrified lines. Here. So somewhere here I want to build another connection that goes onto this track here. Now again I'm looking at it and I'm not entirely seeing... Well, I'm sort of seeing where to do it. Sort of. And then we can actually have those blue metro trains go round the loop. Say from Chutburg, go round the loop, come back off again onto here and then go down to Great Barnville. Because this is the thing that I saw with Japan. And again, I'm, I'm drawing inspiration from everywhere but Britain at the moment. Japan has this system as well, though. They have a, a loop line in Tokyo. And the loop line goes, well, as you'd expect, round the loop, round the city. But what's cool about it is there's, there's joining and leaving sections. So trains can actually go through the city via the loop, and they won't have to go through the centre station. I don't quite see the benefit of that, because surely you want your main trains to go via the main interchange. But hey-ho. You can't win them all. The point I'm making is, that's what we're going to do in the future with that blue train. Because it runs on both overhead and um, third rail. Plus, we can also use diesel trains for it. If we do reconnect this junction here, or even take it round the other side of the loop, thinking about it, is that possible? In fact, there's no connection here at the moment, never mind elsewhere. Oh, no, there is. No, there is. We can make it go through this section here. 
Oh no, that one doesn't join up either. Okay, there is a way of doing it. I know there's a way of doing it. I've seen... Oh, this way. Yeah, through here. And then through here, and then round this way. And then have it join up. Yeah, that could work. That actually could work very nicely. That would be definitely one to consider in the future. If I rebuild this junction so that Sunston becomes like a triangle, get rid of this connection here, take Sunston off this route, that could be very, very cool. Anyway, we're over here now. Because we need to finish this off. So let's do this. The loop trains, by the way, they used to be 12. No, they used to be 11. There's now 15. Just to get that gap that little bit better. I think that works out quite nicely as well. Right, Prutberg South. Where is this one actually going? I've forgotten. Because it can't go exactly where I want it to unless it goes the long way around. Which is not good. Not convenient. Um, God, that, is, that is very loud thunder. Again, apologies if you don't like thunder and you can hear it. Um, nature's way, unfortunately, is not a great deal I can do about that. I'm just looking at where this could go. Right, this goes through the heart, doesn't it? And then it comes... Do you know what? I'm actually finding myself rebuilding the existing one up to Great Mending with Falls. That's not exactly ideal. Um, actually, we have this other, we have this inner loop, don't we? Which we have to build as well. Yeah, we have the inner loop from GSG round as well. So that's that's one that we could do with putting in at some point. Shall I do that one now? I can't, can I? I can't reach it. Okay, hang on. Let's uh, uh, let's cancel this for now. We'll come back to this because Prutberg is served and Plumwell is served at the moment. So we don't need to worry too much about that. It's all to do with connections. You look at which rails are rusty. So this rail is rusty. These are all... Yeah, you're fine. Except, are you on the right track? Yeah, you must be. Yeah. Oh, I need to add new bonding lead to this stop list as well. So your M10. Is it only M10 trains that serve this line? I'm really not doing myself any favours here, am I? This one. Helps if you click the right one. Right, so you are M10. You M10? No, you're just train 58. You're train 59. Alright, so these are the ones that we're getting rid of. So you, are you M10? You're M10, good. Pin you, get rid of everything else. Right, so after Prinhill City, before Darning Head North. Pop you there. And then after Darning Head North, before Prinhill City, we're going to pop you there. Right, now we're going to go into the timetable. Um, I'm going to change all these whilst I'm here to 250. Switch on the separation settings to get that going. Come down to here. You are going to be 1000. And you are going to be 100. And autofill. And that will, the next time it goes round, it will sort out that problem. I think. Should do. And then that, that adds, um, I've forgotten the name of it already. New Bonningly, that's the one. Right, well, okay, we did some connections to the loop. We didn't do quite as many as I wanted to, but. I think off camera what I'm going to do is have a proper long hard look at all of the um, services that we've got and try and find some suitable connections even if we have to build some new lines. For example, Nanbridge and Nanbridge Portland at the moment at least aren't connected up to anything. There's no trains that serve here. What that does allow me to do very very quickly is add in this junction. So 
let's see. Signal there, signal there. It's a bit problematic. Actually, it's not too bad. Because if I pop you there, get rid of you, that works out quite nicely, actually. You and you, and then take out this one, take out this one, take out you and you. Um, pop you back in. Upgrade you. Pop you there. Take out you and you. My over commentary here. This is what I even do this when I'm not recording now. That's the uh, the damage that's been done by me making videos. Is I find. I am talking to myself about what I'm doing whilst I'm doing it, as if I don't know. Which is quite funny, I suppose, you know. It means I'm mental, but it can also be quite funny. Like so. Now if I put another platform for Sunstone Woods, I'll get rid of you. If I put another platform for Sunstone Woods up here. So Sunstone Woods, there we go and you and let's just put you there and then I'll put some waypoints in one there one there so this will be Sunstone to let's just do GSJ because that's the the nearest mainline station this one it's not part of the loop so I can't put that I suppose it's on the inner loop isn't it so I'll put just L inner, something like that. Inner L. I L. I L. Like that. So now we've got two platforms at Sunstone. I could potentially put a third one here. Oh, that's just too tempting to not do. Okay. Let's focus on the track first. Sorry, let's focus on the platforms first, and then we'll focus on the tracks. If I put there could work and then bench actually I think that's one too far up yeah hang on um, underpass there then bench and then nice decorative tree thing and then pop this in the ultimate connection station is the one that fits perfectly on a triangle. It doesn't fit perfectly, I'll grant you, but it fits quite nicely, I suppose. Do that and do that. Get rid of you. And then pop that to there. Pop that to there. Put that there. You can be put back to that. You can be put back to that. Right, now this one can be the same waypoint in a loop. What could this one be then? Let's put this signal in first. See, I could... Right, this one... If I put that one as there, and then you as... Yeah, waypoint 3, and then you as waypoint 3. Get rid of that, get rid of that. If I change this to... Alright, I'll leave that one as for now. This one, I'm going to change to... Um, uh, I can't even think now. This episode was supposed to have ended by now, guys. What am I doing? Sunstone... I'll do south. We'll change you to north. Just because of where they are on the compass in comparison to one another. Like so. And I suppose what I could do is move this waypoint up one, move this point waypoint up one, and actually have these platforms right next to each other, but I can't be bothered to do that right now. Right, off camera, I'm going to do a line. Let's see, PIT3 is here. Do I have one going from PIT3? I don't think I do, do I? I can't do. No, T1, which is over here. 
Okay, so if I do one from T3 to, like, GSJ... Let's see, it runs down this way, runs down this... No, hang on. Runs down this way. Yeah, runs down through the centre of town. Under there. Um, and up and round to there. I could do that one. And it does then technically join the loop for a short while. I'll consider it. One more thing I want to check. Is this on auto? It's not. Now it is. Perfect. Alright then, guys. That about does it for today. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to my channel, thank you guys for your continued support. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course if you're enjoying the series, and leave some comments with ideas for future episodes. Until next time, I will see you soon.